The announcement came just after President al-Bashir called an emergency meeting of ruling party officials in the presidential palace on the back of growing economic concerns over price rises and shortages. No other ministerial appointments were announced, except for the office of prime minister. The ruling party, however, says the number of ministries in the new government will be slashed to 21 from 31, a move intended to cut down on spending. The National Congress Party also told a news conference the ministers of foreign affairs, defense and presidential affairs would remain in their post when the new government is formed. Hartum has been trying to slash expenditure as it grappled with record high inflation, the hard currency shortage and growing concern over low levels of liquidity at commercial banks. Sudan's economy has been struggling since the South ceded in 2011, taking with it three quarters of oil output and depriving her tomb of a crucial source of foreign currency. The lifting of a 20-year-old U.S. trade sanction last year was expected to usher in a more prosperous era for a country that had long been isolated. But economic wars have only deepened as a black market for U.S. dollars has in effect replaced the formal banking system, making it more difficult and expensive to import essential supplies such as wheat. Sudan has been without a central bank governor since June when Hazim Abdel Qadir died after suffering a heart attack while on a trip to Turkey. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.